at the chest, I have one question from the audience on the incentives uh, for years for the charging infrastructure installation. Do you have any difficulties in applying the uh, finance incentive on the electricity price for the charging infrastructures in China? Uh, okay, thank you. It's a very good question. And the electricity price in China uh, is uh, different in case of the cities. Uh, for, for example, in Shanghai, uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the relevant uh, 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 electricity price yeah. uh, is different uh, uh, according to their uh, charging timing. Uh, but in Beijing, uh, all time, uh, the electricity price are same in all time. So uh, uh, they they have uh, so it lead to a different uh, charging uh, uh, how to say charging strategy for the uh, private consumers, uh, uh, and uh, uh, another one is for the public uh, uh, charging stations. In terms of the uh, uh, electricity price, uh, uh, because the uh, in order to encourage the uh, uh, charging post uh, construction, uh, the Chinese government. Uh, allowed to uh, reduce the electricity price for the public charging stations. And it is a very uh, important uh, encourage or incentive uh, measures uh, for the public charging station owners. Uh, 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 and uh, uh, besides of that, additional uh, charging service fees could be uh, charged by the uh, charging operators. Uh, so uh, it also encourage or incentives uh, the uh, public charging uh, uh, post uh, construction. Uh, but uh, 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 okay, I think this is the information I'd like to share with you. But the biggest uh, uh, difficulty for the public charging station uh, nowadays uh, is not the price of the electricity or the uh, charging service fee. Uh, it's uh, about the time utilization rate uh, uh, because uh, in the beginning stage, uh, many charging uh, uh, station owners uh, try to uh, uh, separate uh, as many as charging stations. Uh, and, uh, and because they believe uh, the EV uh, market will uh, expand uh, very uh, uh, quickly. Uh, but uh, now uh, there has not been, there have not been so many electric vehicles or there has not enough electric vehicles to, uh, uh, how to say, to uh, use their uh, charging service. Uh, so uh, they could make profit uh, in, uh, how to say in the uh, at the beginning maybe five years uh, so uh, this influence the uh, followers uh, uh, confidence okay no i see uh, we have one more question from the audience Uh, can you uh, tell us how to develop and organize the charging station so that different kinds of electric car uh, can use them together in, in one charging station in China? Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, uh, there are uh, several kinds of uh, public charging stations in China. Yeah. Uh, the most uh, uh, popular one is the uh, how to say the, the public stations for all kinds of electric vehicles yeah. uh, because uh, China has uh, uh, standardized the, the charging uh, ways, uh, let me see, in uh, 2015. Uh, uh, so after that, uh, all the uh, electric vehicles produced in, uh, sorry, uh, sold in China and the charging stations constructed in China 
uh, uh, need to obey the same uh, standards. Uh, so all kinds of electric vehicles uh, could use uh, uh, how to say the standard uh, charging uh, poles uh, in the uh, public charging stations. Uh, 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 and uh, another kind of uh, public charging station, uh, I mean, uh, the, it is the station restricted to one kind of uh, transport mode, for example, the public, uh, for, sorry, the charging station for the electric buses, uh, rest, sorry, the uh, charging station restricted to the uh, uh, electric buses uh, because they, uh, the bus service uh, is a very important uh, way uh, to, uh, to, uh, convenient, uh, convenient to the city uh, transport uh, and uh, their charging station is restricted. Uh, I mean, not open to other kind of electric vehicles, and uh, an, another and the similar uh, charging station uh, is also for the how to say the electric deliverable uh, vehicles. Uh, so, uh, uh, okay, let me see. I'm not sure if I uh, if you satisfied what I answered. Uh, I think that. Uh... Maybe let me ask him. Uh, anh Đoàn nơi uh, bác uh, Trans có trả lời rằng uh, cái um, sau năm 2015 thì ở Trung Quốc người ta có tiêu chuẩn về các trạm sạc uh, thì các cái xe sản xuất sau đó thì đều sẽ sử dụng chung được cái trạm sạc uh, đó. Tuy nhiên thì có một số các, các loại xe đặc biệt ví dụ như là xe buýt điện chẳng hạn thì cái trạm sạc sẽ uh, được uh, bố trí riêng bởi vì đây là cái xe phục vụ công cộng và vì vậy thì À, chỉ có những cái yếu tố riêng vậy thôi còn ví dụ như là các hãng xe ô tô chẳng hạn thì có thể cùng sử dụng một trạm xa ạ anh à, có muốn hỏi thêm gì không ạ um, Văn uh, Yes uh, If I may uh, add uh, regarding the incentives uh, for electric vehicle users, uh, the, I can provide you some feedback from Madrid. Okay. Um, electric um, vehicles have a reduced uh, tax, so they 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 don't pay the the local tax. Uh, yeah. They they are exempt, um, and also uh, they have a. Uh, they, they can park for free in the yeah. street so they don't need to even take a ticket for parking those two incentives are very attractive for electric vehicle users as well as having free access to the low emission zone so the, the area of the city center where there are some restrictions and they they can move freely so those three uh, incentives are helping a lot also for for the the, the uh, promotion of electric mobility Yes, thank you. Thank you the same for that. I will translate to the audience. Yeah, your recommendation. Uh, bác sĩ Sergio người có chia sẻ thêm là uh, với một số cái chính sách khuyến khích ví dụ như là không cần phải đóng thuế á, không cần là uh, không mất tiền đỗ xe hay là có thể uh, sử dụng cái uh, có thể đi vào cái khu vực low emission zones À, một cách thoải mái thì đây đều là những cái chính sách khuyến khích mà rất là hấp dẫn để uh, những để mọi người có thể chuyển đổi từ các phương tiện là uh, truyền thống sang phương tiện xe điện ạ. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you for that recommendation. Dr. Chance, I think that uh, the audience is satisfied with your answers. He understand now with the standards standardized uh, charging infrastructure which on the own different kind of cars or two wheeler can use this at the same time. Yeah. Only uh, for electric spots, we have different uh, charging infrastructure, right? Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, I think, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Trans, for joining us today. Now we move to the Okay, we have one more questions for you <laughs> on the audience. So I think that we have, we will spend some time for that. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the invitation and uh, to the presentation. Uh, from the audience, uh, he want to add that uh, 
uh, that China develop uh, its own charging station standards, or is it a general international standard that can be used in other countries? Excuse me. The, you mean the the China the China's national standard? Yes. For, for charging. It, it, yeah, it is the same with international standard, or used only for China. I don't think so. It is okay. not the uh, same one. Yeah. Uh, with the international standards. Yeah. Yes. So uh, China have its own standard for uh, charging infrastructure, charging station, right? Yes. 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 It, it is uh, different. Have many uh, difference from the international standards. Uh, uh I think the, the 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 biggest difference is how to see. Is is the is the charging, uh, is the charger. Ah, the chargers. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, but uh, 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 but in other parts, I think uh, there are not so many differences. Yeah. Yes. But the charger uh, couldn't uh, use uh, with each other. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Yong Chen vừa chia sẻ thì uh, uh, thực ra thì Trung Quốc thì có tiêu chuẩn riêng ạ. Nhưng mà cái khác biệt lớn nhất ở đây chính là cái là cái đầu sạc ạ. Còn các cái yếu tố kỹ thuật ở bên trong thì không khác nhiều ạ. Dạ anh, anh Đức có thêm câu hỏi gì không ạ? Yes, so uh, he say thank to your answers. Okay. So thank you Dr. Chen for sharing the presentation on China development in, in charging infrastructures. Uh, we also have some time to uh, set the question and answer with you and uh, Mr. Shekio. Now we have, actually we have the Q&A session. If any audience have more questions for all the speaker, now we have Shekio, uh, Dr. Trans and Phạm uh, Hoài uh, Phương. Chúng ta sẽ đến phiên thảo luận ạ. Nếu các anh chị có câu hỏi gì thì chúng ta có thể nhanh chóng đặt ra để các diễn giả ở đây có thể trả lời. Hiện tại thì trong phiên của chúng ta đang có ba à, diễn giả vẫn còn đang online trực tiếp ạ. Đấy là à, tiến sĩ Chen, ông Sergio đến từ thành phố Madrid và à, anh Phạm Hoài, Phan Hoài Phương đến từ Viện Chiến lược Phát triển Giao thông ạ. Mr. Sekyos, may, may I uh, ask you one question about the sharing, the sharing uh, is vehicle system you apply in uh, your companies. You know, in, yes, in Hanoi, we are trying to conduct a demo on using electric to weather to connect uh, uh, the BRT station and a shopping mall, and we also find some difficulty in applying this. So maybe you can say some uh, some experience on the sharing is vehicle. Yes, um, well, indeed, the, the sharing service we provide is, is by using electric bikes. Yeah. So it's like a bicycle with electric assistance for the pedaling. pedaling. Uh, in Europe, we call them pedelecs. Um, and uh, we have uh, around 3,000 and uh, we have 260, around 260 stations, bike stations. But the service has also some bikes which uh, are can be used in a free floating basis. So they have a battery and whenever you pedal, you get some electric assistance. It has three different uh, power levels. And they are very, um, very valued by, by users. Uh, it's also a way to promote in cycling, uh, though in the last uh, months we are uh, experiencing some problems, especially with the redistribution of the bikes and the maintenance of the bikes. But the idea is to enlarge the system and to reach all the city districts. 
um, and that will be done in the upcoming years. Um, it's a way of uh, promoting electric mobility, like an, at an early stage, and also to remove some barriers. For instance, in, in Madrid, there are people that say that there are a lot of uh, hilly areas, or uh, it's very hot in summer, or, uh, and it's not pleasant to ride a bike. So this way, it's, it's easier. Um, but it is true that it's, uh, it, it also brings some concerns, especially with the redistribution and the maintenance of, of the system. On top of that, in Madrid, there are quite a lot of shared mobility services that use electric vehicles. As a matter of fact, Madrid is one of the cities in Europe with the highest number of private shared mobility operators, either vehicles, I mean cars, uh, I think there are at the moment four different companies, uh, motor uh, mopeds or, or light electric motorbikes. There are also several ones and also some e-scooter uh, companies. And um, they initially worked very well. Now there are some also problems regarding the use of public space and the, the um, um, how to say, the enforcement of the proper parking uh, regulations because sometimes people leave the motorbikes on the pathways and that generates a lot of controversy with pedestrians so the city is working on that okay i think that in vietnam we also have the same problem with the space for the parking mm -hmm. yeah we are also trying to find a solution for that okay thank you for your sharing uh emma À, tôi xin có một cái câu hỏi cho diễn giả Phan Hoài Phương ạ. À, về cái bài trình bày của anh Phương thì thực sự là có uh, rất là nhiều những thông tin quan trọng liên quan đến cái khó khăn và cái vai trò của chính phủ trong việc tạo điều kiện và hỗ trợ uh, thiết lập các mạng lưới chạm sạc điện ạ. Uh, tuy nhiên thì uh, với các cái chính sách phát triển uh, xe điện hiện nay thì anh Phương có thể cho uh, một uh, số cái ý kiến đánh giá xem là uh, cái ở đất nước chúng ta ở Việt Nam chúng ta để cái việc uh, các cái chiến lược phát triển xe điện như vậy thì hiện nay cần có thêm những cái uh, gọi là những cái hoạt động bổ trợ gì từ các bên liên quan để có thể thực hiện uh, được các cái chiến lược này một cách hiệu quả à, dạ anh Phương ạ 